Hey everyone, sorry about my voice. I have a bit of a cold and yeah, so I'll try to get through this video and again, my apologies. Today I have, I would say a little haul, but it's not very little. I'm kind of dealing with oversized objects today, so let's get into it. I'm very excited to show you this uh, moleskin watercolor notebook and this is an A3 size sketchbook which is just huge. I have here this is probably a size that you know you can kind of imagine so this is a 9 by 12 arches paper pad and there it is so it's kind of almost double this size I have tried their uh, watercolor sketchbooks. I wasn't too crazy in love with the paper, but I do love the size of this. And so I'm very excited to get into it. Um, probably not necessarily just with watercolors. I think I will go kind of mixed media here. And um, yeah, this is very exciting. So this is cold pressed cotton blend watercolor paper that stands up to eraser use and can handle large amounts of water on both sides of the page. Perfect base for washes with moleskin watercolor pencils. I didn't know they had watercolor pencils. Interesting. So this is, you get 60 pages, which is quite nice. It's 200 GSM, 25% cotton, um, says fiber, cold press on both sides of the papers, acid free, and the dimensions are 29.7, what? It's almost 30 centimeters on 42, or 11 and three quarter of an inch on 16 and a half inches. Expandable inner pocket, the history of moleskin is inside. You can see it is quite massive, and I'm excited. I always feel like it's, good to switch things around um, you know every once in a while and that's why I decided to try this and speaking of massive art supplies this one I will do a dedicated video you've probably seen this all over the internet these are the Mia or Himi I think they're also called um, gouache paints and this is one of the larger ones and I this is actually my third set of these so I'm not new to them and that's why I want to kind of open all of this with you uh, set it up and show you all the colors that you get in this set if I can take it out oh that's a pretty color <laughs> and kind of share my thoughts on these. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, if I said this is my third set, uh, that means I have a pretty positive opinion. But yeah, I wanna open that with you and show you. And then the last supply that I got <laughs> is this. We have the paint, we have the paper, and now we need, you'll see. So one of the things that are nice about being on YouTube and kind of reviewing and trying products is that it kind of gives me the, um, you know, permission to try things. And also I think that every artist Kind of changes and evolves and develops and so it's always a good idea to try new things and this I actually have been wanting to try for a very very long time but since I have something kind of similar that I haven't really been using for a long time I was kind of hesitant I decided to go ahead and order this now. Ta-da! 
So this is a massive porcelain palette from Jackson. And it also comes with this um, top, which, you know, this is plastic. It's not like very sturdy, but it's also not completely flimsy. And it came insanely well wrapped. So I can't imagine it would break if you order it. What kind of drew me to this is the whole concept of kind of building a color wheel and being able to very easily put complementary colors uh, opposite each other in this palette because one of the things I really, really enjoy doing is mixing complementary colors and creating those kind of semi-muted, uh, semi-neutral and then neutral shades. And I thought this would be a really great way of doing that. And you can see, so you have this huge mixing area, which again, I love because that's kind of a must have for me nowadays in every palette that I use. I don't like small sections. And then we have 24 wells and they have, you know, on one side, they're kind of shallow and then on the outside, it's quite um, high, the edge here. And you have all these like notches here. So they want you to use it, but basically, you know, it's kind of easy if you're working with um, like a triad, it's kind of easy to keep in mind because you have these marks, I guess. And then here you can add extra things. So I especially like also these um, spaces because I feel like it would be a great place to add maybe like a white or I don't know. I have to kind of put some thought into it, but um, I just think this might work really well for me, especially now that I have very, very clear color preferences and I feel less and less the need for a lot of um, colors in my palette. So this actually has a lot of space because you have the 24 wells and then you have eight more of these. So you can fit 32 colors here, which I already think would be more than enough uh, for me. And I really want to kind of set up this palette, probably not fill everything, and yeah, kind of uh, work through the process um, as I'm filming. But this is obviously like a studio palette. It's very, very heavy. It's heavier than my other uh, porcelain palette. If you haven't tried mixing watercolor and porcelain, it's unparalleled. <laughs> And um, you know that I'm addicted to my Perfect watercolor palette that I have in my shop and it has served me well for years now. Um, and I can't see this one replacing this, but I really wanted to try this and kind of share with you the experience. And also I'm just curious for myself how I would feel um, using this. I might also add some gouache here. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like I want to paint a little bit bigger and I think this might help me do that. So that is that. And then a few smaller things that I want to show you. So I went to London. <laughs> I just came back two days ago. And I went to Choosing Keeping. And I have to say, you know, they have an incredible um, selection of products, but I didn't really want to buy any um, expensive watercolor sets even though they're really really beautiful so i just got a couple of things this is one of them 
these beautiful uh, notebook and they're just really really pretty obviously I went for the pink uh, cover and yeah just a really really pretty notebook and then I grabbed also two pens that they had there so this is just like a felt pen but the color is just one of my favorites so yeah it's exactly it's just I'm addicted to this color. It's exactly the same as the pen. This it's cobalt violet basically. And then this one just looked really cool. Oh, and the last thing I want to show you, which I have to explore a little bit. It was kind of one of those things that um, you know, Instagram ads brought me to. And I kind of bought it and then I thought, how can I use this for my purposes? So I got the color catalog and this is by uh, Sarah, Sarah Renee Clark. Um, I didn't know her, but I think she's really well known on YouTube with her coloring videos. I'm obsessed with color and so I thought this would be a really interesting tool to get and see if it also serves my purposes and basically she created all these color collections and I don't do coloring but I think if you do do coloring you will find this to be amazing. You should visit her website or channel to see more about this. So this could be an inspiration or you know, for a painting, a coloring page, design, whatever you want. And the interesting thing that she did is she also created a color companion where she matches all of these um, colors in her color palettes to some of the most well-known brands of uh, pencils and I think also markers. So you can match exactly or very, very closely uh, the colors to, for example, Prisma colored pencils. Um, there's a bunch that she offers there. There's also the Uhuhu, I think they're called. I'm not sure. The markers and like in Inktense pencils, I think. Um, so I think this is a great tool if you are into coloring and you use uh, pencils and maybe you need a little bit of help with color schemes. I mean, how beautiful is this? But I thought, I wondered if I could use this for also watercolor painting and home decor. This is just like, it's just very appealing if you love color. <laughs> the whole appearance of this is very, very nice. And there's all kinds of ways for you to find different color palettes. It's very, very user-friendly. So yeah, I just want to kind of play around with this and see if I can use this. It was very much an impulsive purchase, which I try not to do, but sometimes it gets me. And um, yeah, but I wanted to share it with you. And I know a lot of you are into coloring. So if you're not familiar with this, maybe this is something that would be interesting to you. Interesting to you. It's not affiliated or anything. I just found it on my own thanks to probably, you know, Instagram targeting me, but <laughs> I just thought it was uh, really interesting and uh, a really cool concept. This is not new. I think it's from a few years ago, but um, it's new to me. I definitely want to do like a dedicated video to this, so I'll be back with that again. Um, it's summertime, my kids are on vacation, so posting will probably be somewhat irregular until September. And I'm doing my best to post a video every week, but um, I'll probably I'll probably miss a few a couple of weeks in August. So sorry about that. And I'll hopefully be back to regular posting very, very soon. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye.